Hello, everyone. Good morning and welcome to Wow Wednesday. I am your host, Nancy Matthews, one of the founders of Women's Prosperity Network, and we have been bringing you this show, this Wow Wednesday midweek boost of motivation, education, and inspiration since 2009. Like that goes a long way back. Uh, and it's been our privilege and pleasure to bring this to you, primarily because I get filled up every week. So if you're enjoying our Wow Wednesdays, make sure you get, leave us a comment, let us know, and we'll continue to do so maybe for another 15 or 16 years. Um, our guest today is Linda Allred, who has been a longtime um, colleague, friend, and member of our community. And today we're going to be talking about her journey to lasting happiness and how you can have some of that as well. Right before I bring her on, let me mention a couple of our uh, happenings in the wonderful world of Women's Prosperity Network. And first of all, um, this Thursday, I am offering a free mini workshop where we're going to take a look at what were your goals that you desired at the beginning of the year? Where are you now? And how can we get you from where you are to where you want to be? So I've got a halftime formula that's going to support you in achieving those goals, no matter what happened that might have gotten in the way so far this year. So that's happening on Thursday. And then also next Tuesday, we have our infamous networking with a twist where you get to come together online and meet 15 to 20 amazing women entrepreneurs, not just to pass business cards or drop your info in the chat, but to really connect at a heart level and find those opportunities for connections, collaborations, resources, and yes, clients. So please go to our calendar at womensprosperitynetwork.com. Check out the events tab and you'll see all the wonderful ways that we've put in place for you to connect with amazing women just like yourself and just like our guest today, Linda Allred. Welcome, Linda. So happy you're here today. Hello. I am so excited to be here. Thanks it's, for having it, me. You know, it's really fun for me to have you with us today because as I look back on, you know, how long we've known each other, which is well over 10 years, I believe at this point. Uh, and when I think about all you have been through in your life up until we met and then beyond when we met, your story is nothing short of extraordinary. And I can't wait for you to share that today. Uh, for our guests, let me tell you a little bit about Linda, and then we'll jump right into the conversation. So Linda Allred is renowned as the bad habit belief breaker. Got some bad habits you want to break? This is the woman to help you do that. She is a seasoned personal development expert who's celebrated for helping individuals and groups overcome obstacles that hinder their true potential. As a two-time best-selling author and captivating speaker, Linda's debut book, Answering the Call, soared to number one on Amazon. It inspired readers to break free from limiting beliefs. Her subsequent bestseller, Journey to the Stage, which we co-produced, empowers individuals to unleash their voice and command attention. With over three decades of experience and a Bachelor of Science in Clinical Hypnotherapy and currently completing her master's degree in counseling psychology at St. John's University, um, Linda integrates cutting-edge techniques to deliver transformative results. As a certified Mind Sonics practitioner, Linda empowers individuals worldwide to embrace happiness, health, and fulfillment. And we've got all kinds of goodies in store for you, plus a breaking news announcement of her next book being released tomorrow. So Linda, thank you, thank you, thank you for showing up and pouring into my life personally, as well as so many of the people in our community. Who was that lady you were talking about? Couldn't have been me, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Sometimes you're like, ooh, is that me? Is that me? Yeah, that's you, my friend. Jane lady that said, okay, this is what I have to do. I can do that. I can do that. And I had wonderful mentors like you. And guys, I want to say up front, I am 83 years young, going to be 84 October the 13th. If I can do this, you have no excuse. <laughs> mm. Well, check out this woman. I mean, really, this is nothing short of amazing. And um, let's talk a little bit. I see you sitting here today um, filled with joy and vigor and happiness and vitality. 
And you wrote this book called Journey to Lasting Happiness. Um, I want to be 83 and be as vibrant and full of life as you are. So has it always been this way? Did you just get that good luck thing in your, you know, that you were born with and life sailed along beautifully the whole time? I don't want to give away everything in the book, but I have to give you some golden nuggets. I married at 17, going on 18, and had great first year marriages. And then one day my husband decided to tell me, Linda, you're so dumb. You're so stupid. So that began my life. So, you know, somebody you love and respect tells you you're dumb and stupid. You must believe you're dumb and stupid. So I was in such physical, emotional pain, gained 40 pounds, ate my pain away. And one day I thought I was having a heart attack. I went to the doctor. He says, Linda, there's nothing wrong with your heart. I suspect this is stress. And you know what he had the nerve to tell me to do? Linda, you need to go learn to relax. I could have slapped him, you know, give me a pill. And so three different people that I really respected, uh, Orion said, Linda, go learn to practice self-hypnosis. That can help you. Well, my husband was a banker. I wasn't going to do that, you know, but I went as a last resort, sat in the hypnotist chair and my whole world changed. This little guy right here I want to introduce is my little inner critic. I call him my little Tasmanian devil. He called me dumb, stupid. You're a fairy. Can't write a book. You're too stupid to do that. And one day after learning how to change my thoughts from negative to positive, he's my best friend now. So that's where it all started, um, backing into a hypnotist chair. So for 30 years, I have taught clients how to dehypnotize themselves of all the stinking thinking and to learn to feed your mind with positive messages. And no pills, no drugs, no alcohol, no emotional eating. You do it with the power of the mind that, that God, your higher power gave you. You know, it's free. You can do it anywhere. But close your eyes, you can't drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you don't want to drive a car. Now, um, could we take a couple of minutes? We're, we're talking about hypnotherapy, and I know you have several different processes that you um, give to people to support them and guide them and using consistently. But I think there are some big myths about hypnotism or hypnotherapy, like are you going to make me do something that I don't want to do, dance like a chicken, cluck like a duck? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I am a Christian hypnotist. Both of my mentors were Methodist ministers. In fact, Paul Durbin, chaplain taught Paul Durbin, his deceased now, worked at Walter Reed Hospital, and they were the first hospital in the United States to offer hypnosis bedside. And he retired as a brigadier general, went to New Orleans, uh, Pennington Methodist, and set up a um, hypnosis uh, clinic there. And he says, people ask me all the time, why does a person of faith need hypnosis? And Paul Durbin says, I believe that God wants us to live a happy, fulfilled life and learning to feed your mind with positive thoughts gives you lasting happiness. And yeah. anyone can be hypnotized as long as you you can hear the hypnotist or, or if, you're, if you're drunk or on drugs, you can't. But all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. And let me tell you this little nugget. Every night when you go to sleep and every morning when you wake up, you're in a natural state of hypnosis. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? 95% of your mind is listening to your thoughts, your subconscious, and trying to make your thoughts true for you. So what do we take to bed with us, guys? All of our problems. What do you wake up with? All of your problems. So you're getting back exactly what you think you don't want. So you need to change that thinking and the book teaches five steps to tap into the power of the subconscious mind, where all of your negative beliefs and good beliefs and habits are there. Oh, so powerful. And, you know, it's interesting. I normally am a very good sleeper. I can fall asleep on a dime and I stay asleep through the night. For some reason, last night, my mind was racing and I couldn't even catch what was it that I was focusing on. Uh, and it's that was very unusual for me. So I'm curious. So thank you for being here today just for me. I'm guessing somebody else is going to benefit for this. Um, do you have a suggestion on something that like uh, mantras or statements or focus for as we go to bed to help us sleep better? Well, I have a really neat um, 
improved sleep positive affirmation that you can do. But mm -hmm. also in the book, um, I give you a happiness bubble. Uh, it's QR codes all through the book. How cool is this, you know, technology? Yeah. Uh, but I use my happiness bubble as a sleep bubble. So I'm not going to give away all that little golden nugget. You got to go go peek and see what I tell you, but use it as a sleep bubble. It, it's really cool. It's really all right. Cool. And and so, so Linda's here dropping some nuggets and seeds about her book, which gets released tomorrow. It's called Journey to Lasting Happiness. And, you know, it's interesting well, we'll give you the link on how you can get that tomorrow and everything. And I'm sitting here, 83 years young, just recently, you know, in the last couple of years, met the love of your life, right? So at 80 years uh, old. Or, or, nice chapter in the book, my happy ending. <laughs> um, I think to myself, Linda, you could be relaxing, sailing, enjoying retirement, enjoying your new relationship. And here you are publishing a book, doing interviews, getting this out to more people. What inspires you to do that? Because you don't have to. I understand that. Well, I went on a world cruise and met a guy. My husband had been deceased 10 years then, and we decided to make a new life together. He lived in Utah. So before he came down to Baton Rouge, um, I was sitting on the couch minding my own business. And all of I don't know if any of you have ever had a God whisper, a God whisper, Mm -hmm. this knowing voice said, Linda, it's time to write your book now. There's more people you need to help. He knew I was thinking of retiring completely because Rod was coming down and I argued with him. For five weeks at 5.30 in the morning, we had this argument. How do you argue with God? Mm -hmm. I signed the book contract. And so- Well, wait a second. I, the funny thing was, and I love that this is our connection, and I'm sure some of you have these types of experiences. Um, I had You had been top of mind for me, and I'm like, oh, I want to reach out to Lynn to see how she's doing. I want to reach out. Uh, and, and, and then I didn't. And then within the week that I had those predominant thoughts, I'm online teaching a group coaching class. And out of the blue, I see, I pick up my phone and it's you calling me. And I was like, Hey guys, I hope this is okay with you. I need to take this call because like, I knew it was a, also a God moment as it were. You like, never answer the phone. I never get you. And, and you said, Linda, I've been thinking about you all week. Wait a minute. I'm on the live call. <laughs> it was wild. It was wild. And, and was. You know, part of the, part of the reason I wanted to highlight this is for, for the audience when you get, I'm getting little goosey bumps as we think about this, as I talk about it, when you get those hits, right? The most important thing in order to follow the path to your purpose, to your fulfillment, to your prosperity, you got to listen to those little whispers mm -hmm. um, and take action mm -hmm. because magic happens. And then you signed your book contract and um, I can't, you know, I, I had a preview of the book, so I'm excited about it. I can't wait to get my hands on the hard copy. Um, so look, we'll talk more about that. So anyway, the, you're going to go to lindaallred.com. So it's L-I-N-D-A-A-L-L-R-E-D.com. Uh, and you'll get a, a free gift from her today. And then tomorrow she'll send you the link of where you can purchase the book um, let's 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 rewind just a little bit. And I know that there are m most of your story is in the book. Um, so I'm not sure how much you're going to share today because I know you want people to get the book. But let's let's talk about, um, you know, how are these beliefs and habits formed? Because you're the bad habit breaker. And let's let's kind of dial into some of these things so that we give our audience some tips and takeaways that they can use today. This is the golden nugget, another golden nugget. I did, I, I sort of knew I had a conscious, a subconscious mind, but I didn't know anything about that. But we have two minds, a conscious and a subconscious, both equally important, but so different, guys, so different. The conscious mind judges two plus two is five. No, that's wrong. It's also where you set your goals. Mm -hmm. Do you know it only makes up 5% of your mind? So are you beginning to get the idea 
of why you're struggling, you're only using 5% of your mind. The subconscious makes up 95%, 95%. It's where all of your good and bad habits are stored and all of your good and bad beliefs are stored. And this is the kicker. This is the tip of the iceberg. Your subconscious that makes up 95% of your mind, main goal other than keeping your heart pumping 24 hours a day is to listen, to listen, to listen to your conscious thoughts. And then guys, it does everything, everything within its power to make your thoughts true. So let me tell you this story. I was human resource director for a home health agency. Two weeks into this job, my boss called me to her office and said, Linda, I forgot to tell you, I just got certified as a hypnotist. And I thought, oh God. And she said, I want you to introduce this hypnotist that's coming in next week because we're going to do pain management in the home, hypnosis for pain management in the home under doctor's orders. And I want you to really sell this because we've got to have the staff buy in. And I was thinking, God, I'm not even going to tell my husband I'm working for a hypnotist. Oh, my God, what have I done? Biggest screw up in my entire life. So I introduced the hypnotist and he does all of these fun hypnosis phenomena that you know, and this is in the book, he had us close our eyes after taking some deep breaths and imagine sitting in a room with the lights on with 30 people that he was putting a 50 pound sack on your right eye and a 50 pound sack on your left eye. And he said, in a moment, I'm gonna tell you to try to open your eyes, but you can't because they're gonna feel like they stuck with sleepy room. I'm saying now, say, you got to be out of your mind. I couldn't open my eyes. Mm. He had us do our hands out like this, facing the ceiling. He says, now close your eyes. I want you to imagine I'm putting a heavy metal, metal bucket in your right hand. Close your, hold the bucket. And this hand, point the finger up. I'm tying 12 helium, helium balloons. Close your eyes. And he would say, I'm pouring heavy, heavy wet sand in the bucket. And you can feel the bucket going down, down, down. When I opened my eyes, the balloons were up in the air and the bucket was almost on the floor. That moment, guys, changed my life. I understood without a doubt that my subconscious mind was listening to my thoughts and trying to make my thoughts true for me. So then I thought, Linda, what are you thinking? Oh, I wouldn't talk to my dog the way I talk to myself. So mm. made a pack. I am going to learn to talk to myself to good health. And I got all kinds of stories going over the Amit River Bridge, screaming, I'm happy. It's all kind of good nuggets in the book. And I did, <laughs> I did it. But guys, you have to understand how to tap into the power of the subconscious. That's where your action is. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and what I, um, what I often see and experience even in my own life is if the things I say I want um, are not happening for me, there's probably some belief in my subconscious that's contrary to what I'm, you know, and I'm going to just say giving lip service to, because you got to really believe it. You got to believe I can be happy. I can, I am good enough. And and this good enough one that sticks so many people and shows up in so many ways. Why, why is that core belief I'm not good enough so prevalent um, in our lives and in our world today? It's the number one, one of the number one limiting beliefs in the world. I am not good enough, you know? And guys, think about it. If you believe you're not good enough, it's not much you can do. And mm -hmm. Linda already did not think she was good enough. But today I am good enough. And if you learn to tap into the power of your subconscious and start giving you um, just listening to a positive affirmation. I can tell you story after story. I don't even know which story I want to go to. There's there's so many in the book. Um, one lady came to me two years before retirement. She was a kindergarten teacher and she had arthritis so badly that when she got on the floor, she couldn't get up. And she says, Linda, I hate to retire two weeks before my full retirement, two years. Mm -hmm. 
So I told her I wanted to to teach a creative visualization, which is a form of self-hypnosis. And I said, look, when you go to bed at night, imagine your life happy, doing everything you want to do, playing with the kids on the floor, playing with your grandchildren, having a wonderful day. She said, you are crazy. I have to hold on to the dresser to get to the bathroom every morning. I'm in so much pain. I said, what do you have to lose? She came back the next week. I will never forget this experience. She put one foot in the door with her hand on her hip. And she says, I said, come on in. I have something to tell you, Linda. And I thought, oh, Lord. She said, you know, I'm a teacher. I said, yeah. And all teachers are always right. You do know that, right? I said, okay. She said, you know that crazy thinking I'm happy and pain-free? You wanted me to do that stupid stuff? I said, yeah. She said, I had the best week of my life. The best week of my life. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And I and I love that you said to her as she's like, this is crazy. This is not gonna work. What are you talking about? But what do you got to lose? Yeah. You know, putting in positive um affirmations and thoughts and beliefs, planting positivity, how could that be bad ever? I know. All right. Yeah. I just could be taught in kindergarten. If we could get to that age and teach them. I mean, whoever taught you to use your mind? Mm -hmm. This is the conscious mind, this is the subconscious. I mean, I never knew any of that, you know? Yeah, and when, you know, when I think about, you know, how we're brought up in our families, and, you know, I have a, a granddaughter who's just a little bit over a year. So she is very much into exploring and trying everything and putting everything in her mouth to identify it. And, you know, within the span of one hour, she's probably told the word no mm -hmm. 10 times. Mm -hmm. So all of that programming gets in at such a, such a young age uh, that that's some of the stuff we need to undo. And, you know, yes, we need to protect our children and, and tell them, don't touch that, you know, do it gently, come over. Oh, that's not for your mouth. We need to do those things. And, you know, it's a matter of taking a look at how do we have conversations with our children and then with ourselves. I think mm -hmm. self-talk is probably the most dangerous. I love that you said, I wouldn't say that to my dog. <laughs> I have a positive affirmations, child's health and confidence. And I work with a little boy, Dino, and this is in the book too. And uh, his dad said, I love him, but I, I can't stand him. He's the most negative child in the world. And okay. uh, they started him off every night. He had to listen to Miss Linda's. Back then, it was a CD uh, when he went to bed. And they didn't know whether he took the little earplugs out of the ears or whatever. And three weeks, no, two weeks later, they noticed he was in a better mood. But they said, couldn't have been that thing. Three weeks later, his teacher, Miss Smith, called them and said, what are you doing with Dino differently? And they said, nothing. Something's going on with this child. He's making better grades. He's in a better mood. He's really shy. And he came up to me and put his hand on his hip and looked up at me and said, Miss Smith, I'm freaking awesome. And you know it, don't you? She looked <laughs> down at this little kid and said, huh? She said, as soon as I got home, I picked up and called the call. What is going on? And she, they said all that he had been listening to a positive affirmation for three weeks. 95% of your mind, guys, doesn't care how you want to live your life. And when you start feeding it positive messages, it's trying to make those thoughts true. It's amazing. No pills, no drugs, no alcohol, no emotional eating. You get happy with the mind God gave you. For the power of your mind and it takes um a little bit of a commitment right like do you know just how to listen to the headphones instead of playing a video game at night if he had those right so so going to work five minutes getting dressed in the morning you know bring them into your life all right so how can we get some of these things i know we're going to get the book tomorrow but i want something today <laughs> uh, go, I think you have the link, Nancy. If you go yep. sign up, get my free report, guys, which teaches you the one thing that you need to know for true success. And 
you fill in the form and that's going to trigger the email to go out to you tomorrow. Also, the email that goes out to you, uh, there is three bonuses that I'm offering, valued at $215, only if you buy the book tomorrow on Amazon to help me get to bestseller status. Please, please, please. Yes. And one of them is the free report. The other one you're going to be excited about because I'm giving you my eight positive affirmations. You're going to get self-confidence, the child's health and self-confidence and all of those ones that I talked about. Improve memory, um, eliminate headaches, reduce pain and all those. Mm. Cheese. Mm, I want them. Yeah. So, so in order to um, get all those free gifts from you and get these positive affirmations, I love you said, like while you're in the bathroom, putting on your makeup or driving in the car, um, they're not hypnosis. So I can listen when I'm driving in the car. Except the one improved sleep. You have to close your eyes. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay, good. Don't yeah. drive with that one. Um, so, so here's the, the deal, my friends, you want to go to lindaallred.com and right on the front page, you'll see where it says the one thing report, go ahead and get the report now. And then tomorrow morning, you'll get sent the link to purchase the book. And I believe the book is $22.95. Is that correct? Also, there's another bonus, my stress-free nail combo self-hypnosis. Um, there's a... a a video I did of a weight loss seminar. There is, um, come on, Linda, think. Reduce anxiety, affirmation, healthy living, ultimate relaxation. You want to relax. Oh, it's wonderful. And a bonus I put in, I am slim and trim, a weight loss. Um, I love it. I'm, I'm thinking last night when I couldn't sleep, I needed those. <laughs> it's been exactly what I needed because I'll look on YouTube for different, you know, meditations and stuff like that. But I'm very excited to get all those bonuses. Huh? God said, Linda, time to write your book now and, and gift what you've been doing to the world uh, because it works, guys, and it's free. It's legal. Done cost you a mm -hmm. Beautiful. And this is something anyone can use for yourself, for your kids. If you have a kid or a grandkid that's struggling a little bit, um, get these affirmations and, um, you know, you share what you learn in the book with them. And even if, so here's the, here's what's interesting. When you shared the story about um, working in that human resources department and you had a you had that first experience with um, hypnotherapy, you were like, this doesn't work. This is all BS. I don't want to tell anybody. It's, you know, it's black magic. <laughs> you were thinking and it worked anyway. So even if you don't believe it, what have you got to lose? And just think about it. You learn to dehypnotize yourself with all the the stuff. This little guy now. I wake up every morning and he looks at me. Great day, Linda. What are we going to do today? Because we know we can do anything because we are good enough. And I want all of you to be good enough. I love and it. I love. I am good enough. Yeah. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Um, and we're going to open up for questions in just a couple of minutes. Uh, before I do that, Linda, tell a little bit um let's face it sometimes life brings you challenges and i don't want you to give away too much of the story in the book um but uh a few years ago i'm going to give a little bit of it a few years ago um there were massive floods in louisiana and you went through a harrowing experience uh, i won't do all the details because i want you to read the story in the book but share with me, like at that moment when, you know, you, you were in fear, you were, you lost everything. How do you find the strength um, to keep on going? Well, I flooded five feet, almost drowned. Um, my neighbor pulled me out of the, the screen. Doors were warped and lived with my son for about four months. And I would lay there with the covers over my head, crying. I had lost everything. We didn't have any flood insurance. Didn't need it. Never flooded. Didn't even own a paper clip. And I'd lay there crying and I'd say, okay, Linda Allred, you know how your mind works. Lay here in your pity party if you want to, and you know how that feels. Or you can just get up 
and talk yourself to good health. So I would get up, go to fix my cup of tea, and I would be screaming, I am happy. I'm having a wonderful day. And I'm getting better and better in every way, day by day. And by the time I got to the kitchen, I felt better. Now, that didn't mean that I didn't get back in bed the next night and go through that same little thing. But my mind responded, and day by day, and the most positive affirmation in the world, you cannot remember anything else I talked to you about today, is this affirmation. It's in the book, too. Day by day, in every way, I am getting better and better. Just keep telling yourself that. And your subconscious, 95% of your mind says, hey, guys, we feel good today. So what's your choice? You want to be happy? Or you want to be sad? It's your choice. It's what you let your mind hear. Fake it till you make it. Mm -hmm. And the results that you experience uh, when you choose to live in this way, when you choose to say, I want to be happy um, and take these small actions, it makes a huge difference in the quality of your life. And, and we're here to have our best life. You know, we didn't we didn't come to this planet to choose a mis miserable life did we like and there's miserable things that happen let's be clear right Mi you know not good things can occur and challenges and disease and loss and um all of those things show up but we get to choose how we experience those and also you know i personally think there's a responsibility for me choosing how i experience things as an example to those around me. One important thing I almost forgot at the very back of the book under resources, it's a go-to guide to survive the impossible. If you ever find yourself in unspeakable pain or trauma, make this your go-to list. If I can do it, so can you. And I gave you all the resources, the MP. Mm listen to and all the tools and bells and whistles and the golden nuggets that I use that I teach my clients. So that's in the back of the book. Amazing. Amazing. So you want to go to lindaallred.com, do this today and uh, sign up for the one thing report. Then that will trigger tomorrow you getting the link to purchase the book and um, join me, my friends. The book is $22.95 and you're getting all of these bonuses with it. Uh, and you'll see the procedure for sending the receipt and then being able to get all these bonuses. And do, let's do this together for Linda Allred at 83 years young to get her that best seller status. And as a result, you get to have a best selling life filled with happiness and joy. Amazing, amazing. Um, oh, well, it's. A best-selling life, <laughs> like that. <laughs> Just you know, flows through. That's that's what you're creating, I right? That's all what... the time. You're really good, Nancy. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. <laughs> um, let's open up for some questions from our audience, some insights, ahas, um, and or if you're here today and maybe there's something you're struggling with and. You know, your mind just won't let you stay connected to these positive things. Um, Linda Allred is your girl. So uh, let's open up our first caller, Peg Duchesne. Good morning, Linda. Thank you for all the wisdom you just poured into us in this brief time together. I have signed up for my one report and I'm looking forward to tomorrow when we can help you be a best-selling author. <clears throat> you know, you've given us some great tools to um overcome those ifs and whens in life when you just don't feel the love and all the things so i look forward to diving more deeply into your one report and especially the book so congratulations and thanks for what you shared with us today you know i I've let people pre-read the book, but everybody that I've let read the book, oh, it's really good, Linda. But they know me. They know all about me. I cannot wait to somebody reads it that doesn't know anything about me to see, you know, and Peg, I mean, you know me from- I know WP, a little bit about you, but I'm looking but forward know to- know a lot. So if anybody does buy the book, send me an email, say, yeah, this made sense. Or, okay, Linda. It was a bummer or whatever, you know. Honest opinion <laughs> here. So 
<laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I know you a little, but I certainly don't know your story, and I'm looking forward to diving into it. So thank you. Yay. Thanks for being with us on Wow Wednesday. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and one of the things I, I heard her say today about, you know, this visualization to see yourself whole, healthy, healthy and happy doing at night before you go to bed, like that is huge. Like we can think ourselves healthy. Mm -hmm. We can think ourselves thin. We can think ourselves, you know, into a best selling life. <laughs> I love it. Miss Peg Duchesne, thank you for being with us today and always contributing, um, you know, a beautiful dose of happiness and positivity. You always bring that. And I appreciate you, my friend. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Awesome. And good luck, Linda. Thanks. Thanks. He's going to get it. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's go to our next caller, um, Nellie Williams. And let me also mention, if you are with us on Facebook and you have a question or a comment to share, you can go ahead and put that in the comments thread and I'll bring it to Linda. Uh, but let's hear from Nellie. Good morning, Linda and Nancy. Hey, Nellie. I, I love being in this group because we get to know each other so much better. But Linda, you bring a great topic to the forefront. And yes, it's safe to do because we're all born with the ability, but tapping in is, is a mental process. And I'm, I've already got my um, order at your get the one thing. And I'm looking forward to the email tomorrow to buy your book and we're going to make it go to a number one status. Thank you. Yes, You're yes, yes. Welcome. You know, when God whispered that, he says, Linda, it's not about you. It's not about fame. It's not about making a lot of money. It's about helping the world be a better place. You know, beautiful. That's what it is. I mean, the miracles is 30 years that I, I have been such a, a privilege. When I sat in the hypnotist chair, you know, and I had tears coming down my eyes because I felt God's present with me and I had lost God. And that's in the book too. I tell that story, but, um, I thought, what a wonderful job a hypnotist has. All day long, they give positive messages. Who hears positive messages? The news is negative. The paper is negative. The whole world is negative, you know? And when I decided to grow up to be one, you know, it's just been a, it's not work. That's why I'm still at it at 83. I love it. It's just so much fun to help people and to see them blossom and get happy. It really is. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Beautiful. Thank you, Nellie. Uh, you know, you said something real interesting right now, like what a great job a hypnotist has um, because you are speaking positive affirmations all day, every day. Like that's got to get into the subconscious yeah, I, too. <laughs> you know, yeah. I benefit every time I work with someone I do. Yeah. Yeah, I go I go through that experience. Like when I said at the top of the show that I've been, you know, Wow Wednesday pours into me every week. There are some mornings I wake up and it's like, oh, I don't, you know, I maybe I don't feel like it. And my feelings get shifted because I show up and I get to be in this conversation. So it's cool. Very, very cool. And that's how easy it can be to make that change. Actually, I want to ask you a question. So there are times in my life and people that I know that I would say, okay, here's the recording to listen to. Here's the meditation. All I need to do is push a button and I don't do it. How do we move beyond that? Our own resistance to do these small actions. Cause I, I think that's one of the, you know, I know what to do to lose weight. Right? <laughs> I know how to drop the pounds. Um, and yet I eat the bag of chips or what, whatever that is. You're only using 5% of your mind. Anyway, mm. I tell my clients, if you want to know what your life is going to look like five years from now, don't change a thing. So if that's the kind of life you want, you have a choice. God gives you a choice. But if there is change you want to bring in your life, you need to make a commitment and through the years, I finally got to the point I did so many, you know, these discovery sessions, you know, mm -hmm. people, I might want to work with you, but I'm not sure. And I finally said, look, 
I'm real upfront. I only work with committed people. Let me tell you the difference. If you want me to teach you how to swim and I bring you to the swimming pool and you're only willing to put one toe in the water, you're just interested and that's okay. But if you come to the pool and you're not quite sure what Linda's going to teach you, but you want to learn to swim or be happy, you're going to jump in. That's the only kind of people that I work with is committed. And you have to reach your bottom sometimes. I mean, the pain that I was in from being called dumb and stupid by my husband, y'all just don't know the pain I was in. And I tell the story in, in the book that God, do you remember when I asked you to hold me and I may cry that I asked you to hold me and rock me back and forth because I hurt so bad? Do you remember that? And God, today I am so happy, you know? And it's mm -hmm. just, yeah, that's what I want for everybody to be happy. Yeah. And it's, it's possible. And, and um, so in that moment when it's time, I should do my meditation now. And then I don't, can you give a suggestion to help flip that switch? It's just how bad you want it. Mm. It's just how bad you want it. Um, I mean, I see people that are just not willing to take the extra extra step, you know? Mm -hmm. And and like it, you said, it, some, sometimes you have to get about, to the bottom. It's about commitment. Yeah. But a lot of it, guys, is people don't know what to do. And so they flounder. The book gives you five steps to tap into the power of the subconscious. And when you tell your subconscious, whether you believe the statement or not, if it's positive... It's just like you go to a nursery and you buy a beautiful plant. It's blooming. It's beautiful. And you bring it home and you put it in the closet and you shut the door. What is going to happen to that flower? Mm. It's going to shrivel up and die. But what if you brought it home and put it in a sunny, sunny window and you gave it some water every day it needed it and fertilize and it reaches its full potential? That's what positive thinking does. What a beautiful illustration that was. Thank you. Really yeah. good. All right. Let's go to our next caller, Olivia Jones. And uh, if you have any questions or comments you want to ask or add, feel free to, if you're with us on Zoom, you'll just um, raise your hand. If you're on the phone, you can hit star six and unmute yourself. And let's hear from the beautiful Olivia. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. I am so excited about this conversation because I have just gotten on the uh, bandwagon of happiness, Linda, and I love hearing your testimony and your sharing of how you uh, came to your low point and how you've been able to basically overcome and be happy. There is like there's so much, uh, there's so much content around this particular subject. And we don't realize that this is something that we all strive for. Aristotle said that happiness is the meaning and purpose of life, the whole aim and end of human existence. Mm -hmm. And so we're all striving, you know, for that happiness. And then, oh my gosh, you look fantastic. At eighty, oh, <laughs> <Plus>. right? <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god! Like, I, and I then a golden nugget in the book. I just remember, I tell yeah. of a fable of where three gods had the greatest power in the universe. It's uh -huh. called the Greatest Secret, and it's it's a self hypnosis session, and you're going to really understand how God. Anyway, you got to listen to Blyer, then. Yeah, well, I'm getting the book to help you to get you on going for a, a, the best seller, Amazon bestseller. And, uh, you know, I just am thinking even people say, well, you know, I'm retiring at 60. And I was just saying, I don't plan on retiring. I said, I'm going to be here till I clock out of here because there's work to do. And you just mm -hmm. proved it, Linda, that there yeah. is enough work well, to do. do not work. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Amen. So I'm excited. I do. I, my question is because I consider myself, I um, work really diligently to remain 
positive. And and I uh, have specific ways that I do to to maintain happiness as well. So what do you do when uh, like, but, you know, we are surrounded in we live in a negative world. How do you not let negativity control you? Mm. I give you a happiness bubble in the book. And there's even a meditation happiness mm. bubble that you put around. I love that. Uh, another thing, you know, guys, we're all entrepreneurs. And no one told me when I grew up to be a hypnotist that I had to do anything other than be certified, get an office and a telephone and sit there and the whole world would know about me. Doesn't work that way. <laughs> It's all about marketing. I got thrown feet first into marketing. It is all That's so good. Marketing, marketing, marketing. So that is so good. So I would be at 9 30 at night designing some course that you all have taken maybe on WPN. 10 o'clock, I'm still at it. Everybody I'm thinking is sitting there watching TV, chocolate chip cookies, and here I am. Marketing, marketing, and I found this statement. I didn't know who it was by for years, but it's by Jim Rome, and this is my mantra. I am, and it's in the book, the mantra, I am willing to do today what most people won't because tomorrow, tomorrow, I will have what most people won't, and that would keep me going. That, mm. would, keep, that would keep me going. And then, I love it. Yep, so... And God is great. Where you climb this mountain and you think, oh, I've got it made. But then you go down and then there's another one to climb. And you, you know, and it's just up and down. But I love being an entrepreneur. I, I love it. I love it. I love being uh -huh. in life and my own destiny. And Amen, sister. Amen. That's why I love WPN. Yes, me too. They're a wonderful group of ladies. Awesome. <laughs> thank you, Linda. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. That was really good. Thank you for that question. And um, I put the quote that she just shared in the chat. Today, I'm willing to do what most people don't, what well, won't. So mo so tomorrow, I'll have what most people won't. Yeah. Amazing. And, and that's really the key. And, uh, you know, it's funny. I remember when I be, for, had my first son. So I'm a single mom. I'm 24 years old. And I kind of got pregnant by surprise, although how do you get pregnant by surprise? But anyway, um, and I was driving home from work one day and um, I get a call from my friends and they were all meeting at the bar to go to happy hour. And that was our thing. We would go every Friday, we would go to happy hour. And I remember feeling like I was missing out when I got that phone call. And fortunately, I was able to switch my thinking oh but I get to go home and be with my son and I get to play with him and I get to do this so that that missing out feeling I was able to shift so I'm pretty lucky that I I, I went there right away because otherwise I would have lost the joy of being with my son lamenting that I can't do this other thing right mm -hmm. so it's it's you know what do you want what you know and what are your highest values and priorities I've been in several multi-level marketing things. Mm -hmm. And if I could get to the top of the tier on my own, I'd be, been there. But you try to teach a team to do what you're supposed to do. Everybody wants the money and the income, but they are not willing to do what you need to do. You know, you just got to got to get up. Keep working it. Yeah. And, 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 and I think part of the secret to that, as I've learned over the years, is to enjoy the process not just stay focused on the price yeah mm -hmm. so we got to enjoy the process and and journey to lasting happiness is the title of the book um so remember to go to lindaallred.com get your free gift today the one thing report and then tomorrow you'll get the link for the book um so it's journey to lasting happiness not fleeting happiness not sometimes happiness <laughs> lasting happiness and it's a guide to living a happy, healthy, and successful life. Love it. Love it. All right. Let me check in if we have any other questions or comments before we wrap up today. So just a moment here. Yes. Um, Pastor Darlene. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Linda. Hello, good morning. Hey. Good morning. I feel like I'm a part of the group because I'm wearing blue as well. 
All right. <laughs> But what I wanted to say, Linda, was, you know, you spoke a lot about what we are thinking about. And uh, there's a verse that says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So whatever's in your heart and everything. What my question is, do you also uh, recommend or do you talk about listening to um, things on YouTube that, that actually speak to the the mind that constantly have you playing things um any any type of things um sometimes the there's the, not anything that i really recommend on youtube um just you know to get some positive affirmations which if you purchase the book as we've already discussed you're going to have uh eight um uh, and just listening to uh, hypnosis sessions you know just feed oh, you that's positive positive thoughts absolutely yeah i i agree i agree and also oh, I, was... book I give uh one of my mentors was sonia miller and she wrote this book um and she teaches you a willingness mantra and that's in the book um also one of my other mentors uh corinne Vavo teaches you a mood management system that you check in with your mood. So there's all kinds of tools in the book. But Sonia taught me that when you start the negative thinking, and you know how to do that, we all can do that well, the universe collapses all of that negativity down on you. And she says, Linda, you have to learn to let it go. And so the mantra teaches you to say, ah, I see you little gremlins up there. You know, I see you fear. I see your anxiety. And I respect and honor you. And I am willing to let you go because I believe the universe is going to send me everything I need and want right here, right now, and more. I'm open to receive from all channels, both expected and unexpected. All is well in my world because I know that I am held in the hands of God and I am perfectly, utterly safe. And you, uh, release, and you release. Oh, I love that. I yeah, felt oh. release. I yeah. felt it all the way here in North Carolina. I yeah. felt that release right here. Thank you so much, Linda. I am, I already signed up to, um, for, for everything. <laughs> and, and tomorrow I'm getting the book for a number of reasons, not only to support you, but because I believe in what you're doing. I believe it's important. And as I can, I'm going to share it with others because we all need to change our mind. I keep hearing that saying that says, you change your mind, you change your life. That's yeah. what so, my, my first bestseller was, change yep. your mind. Alive. And let me tell you this, you know, I, I know you, you all believe in God whispers. So God said, write the book. He says it's going to be a New York bestselling, not only an Amazon, and it's going to be made into a Christian movie. Mm. That's beautiful. Totally. I'll be, I need all the support I can get from uh, the religious community because God did this. You know, he's been wonderful. And I lost, I lost him for about five or six years. And I tell that story how, why I lost him and how I found him again. Oh, that's wow. beautiful. He had me by the hand on a treadmill ever since I got certified as a hypnotist. Come on, Linda, there's some more you have to do. There's some more you have to do. There's some more you have to do. I'm a <laughs> Wow. Well, thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you so much, Linda. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. Me too. Beautiful. Thank you, Darlene. All right, one more caller, um, Deborah Morrison. Well, thank you, Nancy, and thank you, uh, Linda. This has been amazing, and I definitely will be following up with you. And for sure, <clears throat> I wasn't able to get the link before, so now I'm finally on the computer, and hopefully in the, it'll, the link will be in the chat. So the um, powerful, powerful. I am uh, the founder of the We Can Do It Women movement, and we're going to be launching it in a very large way in September. So I'll be speaking about how we can integrate you into that launch because you are absolutely the epitome of a We Can Do It woman. And I talk about taking a stand. Like we pick up 
well, now I guess you, you're, people are viewing on their smartphones, TV, but in the old days, you had a remote control that you held in your hand, right? And if you didn't like the channel, you changed it, right? There wasn't, ma- there weren't many people aside from people that were, that had fallen asleep in front of the TV that would just continue to watch something that was the same old, same old, or, or worse, you know, degrading. And yet we don't seemingly uh, take a look a critical look at our lives and your point about if you want to be what you if you want to see what you're going to look like in five years just just stay right where you are i mean we are in the most cataclysmic change environment now not just technology everything and so i so honor uh your work and uh, you bet i will be supporting you tomorrow buying several copies for my friends how many times do we hire a coach for 500 dollars an hour guys she's selling a book for under 30 dollars uh, right. the holidays are coming up Let's get a few copies. Uh, let's Great bring idea. a woman of this stature up to bestseller at least on Amazon, and then she pursues the New York. Talk to me a nickel about the connection. I, I'm a avid reader on neuroplasticity and Dr. Uh, Tara Schwer, uh, Schwer, uh Anyway, I apologize, but the the, the tie uh, between neuroplasticity and and hypno hypnotherapy. I write a whole chapter on neuroplasticity in the book. <laughs> good, good, good. good, good. <laughs> okay, well then, everybody <laughs> buy the book. Get the book. <laughs> right. Well, they've proven that your mind is a computer. So what? Sure. What do you feed a computer? Everything you feed into the computer, it does. So yeah. the software is the thinking, thinking, or the positive thinking. Mm-hmm. We, our minds are a computer. That was the decade of the century in neuroplasticity. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Thank you. Great, great question. And and I, uh, Deborah, and I love your suggestion. Buy copies for other people. What a great gift to give others. And and as you said that, Deb, I had three other people. I'm like, oh, this would be a great gift to give. So I'm going to do you that. See what I'm saying? And, and, and even keeping it like I, I wrote a book for widows and uh, my husband died now and I have several copies. So when I hear somebody's widow, boom, I send it. So you hear somebody's in a little bit of a slump, boom, you know, send yeah. them that, right? Uh, but one last thing, I, I think it's important. I, I did some, I did some NLP training and the NLP languaging around this is to, um, you know, people have secondary gain, you know, a person's told to be on crutches for their sprained ankle for, you know, a week and a half and they're on them for four and a half weeks because every place they go, someone says, Oh, what happened to you? And so there's secondary gain in continuing that old, uh, pattern, those old habits. And do you think it's an extra step to be as conscious as we can of, hey, what am I getting out of being in the same, you know, neuro rut, if you will? It's it's familiar. That's all I'll give it because for so often it's just so negative. That was a great, powerful question. It's a book that you write in too. And after each chapter, you I ask you what was your biggest takeaway? And there's a habit poem by Napoleon Hill that's in the book. A habit poem, and I ask, and I actually break down each line of it. It is so powerful. It is so powerful. Wow! I'll have yeah. everything. Yeah, beautiful. And taking a look at that second, asking the question about the secondary gain lets you uncover something that may have kept you trapped. That has you say, "Oh, it's time to do my affirmations." Oh, I don't feel like it because that secondary gain it could be calling in. Very good, Deborah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's like you're sitting on a, what do you call it? Peter totter Seesaw. Yeah. And you don't know, I, I want to achieve this goal, but more of you is scared to achieve it and you just go back and back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Really thank you, Miss. Thank you, Deborah Morrison. You're welcome. Yeah. Control what we can control and we can control our minds for the most part. That's the key yes. for the most Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. All right. Well, this was a robust, delicious, and re- enriching conversation. Thank you, Linda Allred, for being with us. I can't wait to get the book. Uh, everybody go to lindaallred.com. So it's Linda, L-I-N-D-A, last name A-L-L-R-E-D. Uh, go to the website, sign up today for the One Thing Report. Tomorrow you'll get your email to go ahead and purchase the book. And I would do the second thing, just saying. Um, I would actually put a note in your calendar or wherever you keep your daily tasks to make sure you go buy the book tomorrow, 
Like sometimes you may, it might slip through your email, but we don't want that to happen. So make yourself a note, maybe a big sticky on your forehead um, to buy the book tomorrow, Journey to Lasting Happiness. Linda, thank you for being with us. I love you, my friend. I appreciate you. And um, thank you for pouring into me and into our community today. Thank you so much for having me. I love the WN community. Yay. We love you right back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Get out there. Um, bring some magic to your life and choose lasting happiness today, tomorrow, and always. Bye now.